As many of you already know, the new Tab S7 and S7 Plus come with no shelf preloaded. And as I assume this is going to make new people come to the app, I consider it would be beneficial if I made a short video of my favorite features. So here we are. This video is also intended to inform you that there's a link in the description to a recent post that I made on Instagram, where I'm making a giveaway of five promo codes to obtain the app on any platform, that is Android, iOS, and Mac OS. If that's something you're interested in, you can go to my Instagram to see how to participate. I want to clarify though that I'm going to be using the Android version of the app to mention my favorite features. So this might not be what you see if you're using it on iOS. If I had to mention only one thing that I like about NodeShell, it would probably be the possibility of opening it on multiple windows. I honestly don't know if this is intended or if this is any kind of weird bug, but it's definitely something I found really unique and useful about the app. If you want to make use of it, you just have to open a PDF or any other type of document using NodeShell and it's going to open it, but you're still going to be using the other app. It's a little difficult to explain, but what you need to know is that after this, you're able to open your regular Note Shelf app, and you can then put them both on a split screen view to be seen two of your notebooks at the same time. The next feature I really like is the possibility you get to store your PDF templates on the app. Plus, you also get access to the Note Shelf Club, in where you have many different kinds of notebook covers and templates for your pages. I will totally recommend you take a look at what you can find in here because there are many templates that I found very useful. I recently also found this watercolor cover pack and I've been using it on every new notebook that I create. Another thing I like about NoteShelf is the constant improvement they make to the app. They are constantly releasing new updates that improve the user experience and that also implement new features. The most recent update they've released gives you a higher customization over the eraser tool. You can now not only erase strokes but you can also erase in areas. They've also implemented a new option for you to be be able to only erase highlights. I think this is really useful, especially if you tend to use really low width highlighters that do not leave too much room for a regular eraser to work properly. They also now give you the possibility to return to the previous tool you had after you use the eraser. And also one thing that it was previously implemented but I still like is the auto eraser that changes its size depending on how you use it. Another feature that I really like and they also implemented recently is being able to pin the favorites tab. That can save you a lot of time if you're constantly changing between different pens, different colors, or if you're using highlighters and then you want to go back to writing your regular text. I was recently answering a question that made me realize the incredible PDF handling that NoteShelf has. For working with PDFs, you can obviously annotate over them, eliminate pages, add pages in between. As I mentioned before, you can also use your PDFs as templates, but the feature I like the most is that you're able to use the search tool with your PDFs. So you can use the search tool to find any letter, any word, any phrase. To do this, they used an OCR technology, and with this, they are also able to provide the same functionality for your images. So it doesn't matter if you want to search for something that you typed, that you wrote, or that it's in an image or a PDF. Finally, one of the things that I really like, and it really shows the potential that this app has, is the ability for you to convert your handwritten notes to typed text. And again, this uses the OCR technology I was talking before, but with this implementation, you're able to transform the things you wrote with your S Pen or with any stylus into typed text text. I think the thing I like the most about it is that they don't limit you with what language you can use for this tool. I think right now you can make use of this conversion with over 65 languages. Plus, they've also been implementing new languages on some of the new updates they've made. So again, you can see that they are working hard to maintain the app and improve it with every new update they make. And with it being preloaded on the new Tab 7 lineup, I think it only shows the great potential that the app has and you can only expect 
better things for the future. If you like the app and you want to try it, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can go to my Instagram to see if the giveaway of the five promo codes of the app is still going. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried the app, what features you like the most, and what features you'd like to see in the future. This was the third video in less than a week that I published. I can assure you this is not going to happen frequently, especially because I just started a new semester, so I'm probably going to go back to posting one video every week or every two weeks. Thank you very much for watching, I truly appreciate it. The last videos have been incredible and I cannot thank you enough. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe for future content. For now, this has been a regular teenager. Take care. Peace.